About every month or so, my dad and I take the ATVs out for a ride. These adventures that the ATVs have allowed us to go on really helped kick off AZ Off-Road as it is today. We've been all over on them, from the back way to Crown King, through Box Canyon, and to ghost towns on both the east and west sides of town. Our ride a couple of weeks ago began like all the others had. We pulled out the ATVs from the backyard, loaded them up on the trailer, strapped them down, filled up the gas cans, and picked up all of the essentials from the gas station. We then slapped on the OHV decals and headed out on the road to pick up the trail. Our destination for today was Robbins Butte Trail, just a few miles southwest of Phoenix on the outskirts of Buckeye. This trail winds past the scenic Robbins and Powers Buttes, past an old abandoned farm complex, and eventually ends at a partially collapsed Gillespie Dam. Very neat stuff to see, pretty short and easy trail, and we were really looking forward to getting out and enjoying the day. As we back the quads off and let them sit there to idle and warm up, all of a sudden my quad stumbled and died for no reason. And this isn't unusual, it's done this before when it's cold, so no problem I thought. Walked over, went to restart it, and it just kept cranking. And cranking. And cranking. It would not fire. Something was wrong here. So we decided to pull it apart, check for a spark, which it had plenty of. We then checked the fuel supply, everything seemed to be flowing good, there were no blockages. And we decided to move on to the air filter and nothing was clogged. Something was very wrong here. No matter what we did, the quad would not be fire. The starter continued to spin and sounded a little different and a little faster than normal. But at this point, we determined that the quad would not start, and with only one quad left, we wouldn't be able to complete the trail for today. So we took the one working quad for a quick spin before we were forced to load up and head right back home, which was an absolute fail for this ride. When we got back home, we continued the diagnostics. We tested the quad's compression to really conclude that it was the engine that was causing issues. So we attempted to start it, and there was hardly any pressure being released out of the spark plug hole. So we switched over to a known working engine and gave it a crank, and there was tons of pressure. So that essentially confirmed that we lost compression somewhere in the quad and it was not going to refire unless it was pulled apart and diagnosed. So, this 1995 Honda 300 lived a good life that was unfortunately now over. The quad has been around the block, like literally, it's been around my block many a time, making sure everything was working on it. But in all seriousness, it had been on so many adventures on the thousands of miles we have ridden across Arizona, some of the most spectacular places. The little red Honda that could now sits in the quad graveyard until we can get a borescope on it to confirm that the engine really is shot. And because it would be a lot of money to pull it apart and rebuild the engine, probably best to move on and upgrade to a new quad. Rest easy, old friend, and thank you for your service.